Hey, it's the How To Gamer Chick, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new character in World of Warcraft. So, I am right now in Warlords of Draenor. Um, I don't know if that's the right way to say it. That's how I say it, so I'm going with it. Um, so, I'm logged into my account. Uh, you got to download it to your computer. So make sure you've downloaded the program, given it enough time to do all the updates and everything. Um, so where I'm at right now is where you can choose which realm you want to play on. So there's a bunch of like different servers. So if you have friends playing, you want to find out which realm they're playing in. So you can uh, check up here on the top right. So right now I'm in Dalaran. So I can click on change realm. And what this is going to do is going to bring up a list of realms that you can create new uh, new characters on. Um, I have um, I used to play hardcore like um, in the early 2000s or mid 2000s, whenever. Um, and so my characters are on Bronzebeard and Dragonblight, um, but uh, I think I've maxed out. I think you get ten. Um, so I'm I live in the United States, so I have that tab selected. But if you live elsewhere, you can select a different um, geographical area. So uh, what we have here is different realms. So this is where you can look and see. Um, again, if you have friends playing, um, you can select the same realm as them. Uh, we have some types of realms here. So we have normal, um, and then we have uh, PvP. So um, and then RP. So uh, normal is typically where you would um, where you would play. Um, that's where I like to play. It's comfortable for me. Um, PvP is player versus player. So when you're on the PvP realm, so there's two uh, two types of classes here. So you have the uh, the horde and the alliance. So um, if you encounter someone from the opposite, um, so if you're horde and you approach somebody who's an alliance, they can just attack you at any time. Doesn't matter uh, if they are the highest level and you just started playing your level one, they can just annihilate you. Um, on normal uh, realms here, uh, the normal realms, uh, you have to put yourself into PvP mode. So um, that means you go into an area that you're not supposed to um, and it flags you as PvP um, and typically that lasts uh, five minutes, I believe. It's been a little while. Um, but then you go back and then you're fine. You know, they can't, they can't mess with you. Um, and then RP is role play. Um, and that's people who are like way into it. And, um, I don't know if you're just a casual player. Um, I, I prefer going into normal here. Um, over here we see population. So, um, we can find low population, whatever. Um, all of these are low looks like. So, um, medium down here, full. Um, so again, it's how many people are playing. So, um, again, what type of player are you going to be? Do you want to play with other characters, like other live players frequently? If you do, maybe you want to get into a heavier populated um, realm. Um, if you're kind of a solo player like me, uh, you can pick a low one. So, um, I don't really have a preference here, so I'm just going to grab a uh, an awesome realm here. So let's see here. And I'm sure these all have like very specific meanings. Um, they're very familiar names to me. So I know they're used throughout the game. Um, and for those of you geeks who know all about the stuff, you probably know what all of these are. Uh, again, I don't. So um, how about we go into... I... What's this guy here? Ghostlands. Let's go into Ghostlands. So I'm going to click on this realm. I'm going to click on OK. So it's going to log me into this game server. And now it's time for me to create my character. So again, like I mentioned, there's two types here. You have the Alliance and you have the Horde. Um, and then you have these uh, Pandarans. So Pandarans are neutral. So they all start out at the same place. And then once you hit a certain point, that's when you decide whether you go Horde or Alliance. So um, that can be a fun, a fun way to play. Um, I prefer Horde. I feel like Horde has cooler characters. Um, but, um, you know, choose whatever you want. Um, each, each different uh, type of character here, um, they can be different classes here. So the different classes, uh, these are kind of like um, 
kind of like prof- not really professions, but it's it's types of fighters that they're going to be, or types of healers, or whatever. So um, not every um, every type of character here can be um, the same can be the same class. So there's certain characters over here. Um, so um, so again, these are so you would start by picking a gender. Do you want a male or female character? Uh, totally up to you. Doesn't matter uh, what gender you are. Select whatever you want. Um, and then this is where you select the race. You can click on the race and you get kind of a preview of what they look like. You can drag them to see what they look like. To get more information, just click on more info. This is going to explain um, some of their um, some of the benefits of being this race of character. Um, and then over here on class, you can click on the different classes and then see what types of abilities they have, what their uh, strengths are, weaknesses, um, depending on like, do you want to be a fighter? Do you want to be a healer? Um, there's each, each, uh, each different class explains what type of role the characters are. Um, so you can click through, take a look, uh, read up on them. Um, go ahead, make some characters. You can make throwaway characters. Um, just have fun with it. So um, I tend to like undead. I like undead, and I like blood elves. So um, those are two of my favorites. Um, they're just I don't know. They're just cool. Um, but and again, you can take a look at what they do over here. So uh, if I'm going to make a, I'm going to make myself a blood elf, and I tend to like, um, I don't know, I like being warriors or maybe a death knight. I'm going to make a death knight. So um, so again with death knights, um, you start typically. I think you start at a higher level. Uh, you get a mount, all sorts of cool stuff. So if you are a new player, you probably want to pick a different class. So maybe I'm going to do that just to go through here. Um, so warriors, they, uh, they're they pretty good fighters. Paladins, they're more healers. So um, if you want to play with other characters or be able to heal yourself, um, that used to be my favorite type of class to be. Um, hunters, they use bow and arrows. They can have pets. Um, I, I feel like it's too much maintenance. I don't want to, I don't know. It's cool to be able to stick your pets on, uh, on enemies, but, um, it's, I don't know. It's, it's a little too much for me to handle. Um, rogues are pretty cool. Um, they're very stealthy. They can learn how to like pickpocket and sneak around and stuff. Um, priests, they tend to be healers. So they kind of hang out in the back and they heal, uh, the fighters. Uh, shaman, that's not available, but it's kind of a spellcaster. Um, similar with mage, mages they can uh, use their wands and things to to fight. Um, warlocks, uh, warlocks are kind of cool because you get this little imp guy, and you can get um, little demon things uh, that are pretty cool. Uh, there's monks. Eh, I don't know. I'm not into it, uh, but there are healers. Um, there's druids. Uh, they can shape shift. Um, again, kind of more on the healing side. Um, the Demon Hunter, um, they're a hero class, just like the Death Knight, so they start at a higher level. And then, of course, the De- Death Knight, um, they're pretty badass, okay? Just throwing that out there. They're badass. So, um, I'm, you know what? I have an undead warrior, dude. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do female undead warrior. Because I did pretty well with that. So I'm going to hide that. So this is how I'm going to start. So now I'm going to click on customize. So this is where I can change um, the appearance of my of my um, undead warrior here. So you can go up here and select um, the skin color of your person. Um, it's kind of fun to customize your character. If you don't like how your character looks, uh, maybe you do it first, but uh, you don't later. There are like salons that you can have people um, change your how your character looks. So, um, you know, start out with something. Uh, so now we can customize the face, so we can see all the different faces here. Um, that stitched up face is kind of cool. I always make mine look kind of girly. I'm so bad. Um, 
Like, I want a pretty undead. I don't know. She's she's kind of mean looking. Uh, so now, hairstyles. So you can go through, select different hairstyles. To see how they look. And just drag around here. Or you can use these little arrows. Um... Just find something again. If you um, if you don't like how your character looks later on, you can redo them for a small fee. Uh, I think I like this hairdo. It looks practical. Uh, now I can change the hair color. So these are our options. Do I want? Oh, that's kind of pretty. Again, I know she's like a freaking undead warrior. Um, Oh, kind of like that. Okay. And then features. So you can make some adjustments. These are specific to uh, the, the race of character you picked. So I picked an undead uh, character. So these are specific. So um, most of these are like rot for the undead. So I can have like partway like rotten missing face here if I want to. Um you know, she's a warrior. She's been through some crazy stuff. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Looks kind of cool. Um, also, you can hit randomize, and that will randomize your whole look there. Um, but I think I'm going to go for this uh, uh, this little face here. So now you want to pick a name. Um, <laughs> a lot of people get pretty hung up on this. Um, you know, you don't want to pick something stupid. People will think that, you know, you're kind of a goof off. So, um, you know, there's there's different types of names you can pick. But something, I don't know, something mystical, magical. I don't know. I've been thinking about this today. And um, I'm going to try, uh, after my favorite toilet paper, I'm going to name her Charmindra. I'm going to see if that is available. So type in the name here. Uh, click Finish. And it's available. Awesome. So that's how you create your character. It's pretty fun. Um, so um, just have fun with it. Remember, you can always change it later. Go to one of the uh, the salon places in a major city, and somebody can help get you all changed out for a small fee. Um, but yeah, have fun. Do some research. Create some throwaway characters if you want to, and just have fun with it. It's a great game. So I hope this helped. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my other videos. Check you later.